girls out there. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yes, welcome to our vlog. So call it a video log. Video that's log. Not, that's not his vlog. Yeah. We're not assholes. Okay. Welcome to our video log. Where we're drinking coffee. <laughs> Don't know what time it is. It's probably eleven or something like that. Yeah, it's quarter past eleven. Quarter past eleven, and uh, we do like things are starting to happen a bit more. And we're getting thing, things organised and, yeah. So basically, we ain't had a drummer. Mm. When we moved up, we moved up without Ryan. Poor little Ryan. Poor little Ryan. Big up. Bless him. Because we wanted to take a year together and whatever. Um, so... Print. <laughs> 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 uh, so we, we, we moved up. <laughs> Um, yeah, right commitment. Yeah, it's fair enough. He's he's a really fucking good player as well. Uh boy. Um But we fingers crossed now have another drama that we jam with this week. Um it's called Harry, Harry Wilson. Uh so fingers crossed that he's gonna be up for it and and ready. Quick. Well yeah, but that's for other reasons. In terms of like Music, it was quick, yeah. wasn't it? It was just the well, fact that we, started. yeah, that we it, it, we just sat him down. We, you know, we'd gone in that day, and basically what happened was is that we just went into the class, spoke to Hallam about what we were going to do for the recording to make sure it fitted the crime oh, just now. <laughs> <laughs> we were hardly spoken to him. You know, yeah, class of like so twenty. Far. Yeah, no, it's not good. But um, we sat him down, like on the drum kit, and just really briefly went through the structure of Out of Sight and not only did he nail it and keep switching it up and just, you know, slowed it down and we just followed him and the timing, timing was really good as well. We were very tight, um, has to be said. But then Nathan went into a Backdoor Sluts 9, a horse called War Song. The test. <laughs> yeah, and it, how we, so what, what have we got planned for the future? What, okay, so James, what have you got planned for bass guitar? What's going to happen with the bass guitar in the future for real? Um, what's uh, going to be different from what the rising EP? Different. Different. Exactly. Well, for I one, I'm playing on a. <laughs> for one, I'm playing on a different fucking bass. So I, when we did rising, I had to use one of the college's basses because the basses I had at the time weren't able to tune down low enough because the strings weren't set up right and weren't thick enough. Uh, so now it's not going to sound anything like rising because I was going through a guitar massive, um, been digging into like the funk and soul and Neo Soul kind of thing. I've been enjoying that bit of Thundercat. And so I've been adding that to my bass playing, doing like the triple finger shit. Getting more funky. Yeah, a bit more rhythm, and I've learned more about how I play. So looking into rhythms, uh, linking up with the drummer a bit more. Um, mm. What have you been doing, Dave? Well, I've been working on sticking on like, my tone. Just one bit of big thing in the last few months. Uh, finally getting there, finally getting there, especially with recording. The other week, fucked around with having the power um, of mic placements. Yeah, the kitchen, and then one the amp. And these both take on from there to get a good tone. Got lots of high frequencies out, and a lot of low end as well. Ooh. And Sammy, it's yep. been fucking vocals. Yes, basically everything. You know, sending them to bus sends that distort or you know reverberate. Blah blah blah. Whatever. And so, taking inspiration from the sort of Steve Albini style of production, which the whole ethos is that you just take the key elements of the band and then you bring that out more rather than adding like a harsh EQ that doesn't actually bring out the good qualities of the sound, if that makes sense, without sounding too wanky about it. Um, the album sold so much and it kind of you know, brought them into the light in the following years. But, um, yeah, so vocal effects. Just been borrowing Nathan's guitar pedals and James's and just seeing what sounds I can come out with through Nathan's little orange amp. The micro tower. It's like this big. And so I thought, place that near the amp, have some bleed in there so it doesn't sound too isolated and on its own like it would on Logic. And so it would just sound a lot more gelled with everything 
that will mainly be used for the more psychedelic bits that we're probably going to mm. start trying to get in there. Um, it w- The music I think we're going to be coming out with as a whole will be a lot more sort of... Polarised. Po- yeah, a lot more polarised, more hardcore punk and mix of things. Things will transcend a bit better rather than just being loud, loud, loud all the time. So yeah, look out for that. Um, we've also got the split that I know we keep saying on Facebook that is coming out so that slowed everything down with Colt because of course they live back down south um, so we've been chatting with them and they're just finishing off the artwork now basically uh, all the recordings are mixed and mastered um, and we've also got a little documentary and yeah um, old technology and trying to use old technology yeah. with new technology causes issues um, so then that'll be out as well we'll release that after the EP and we're hoping um, we don't know if we can do it or not yet. What we were going to do after we released it, uh, sometime after, was have Colt come up here and we'll play a gig here. But we just need to go around and find out. And luckily, Harry's been playing up here for ages, so he should probably have some contacts or something. Um, um, we just wanted to do this at the end of the day. Who's going to give a shit if you don't do anything? No one will. No. So we kind of wanted to use like this segment every week to kind of what's been going on. If nothing's been going on. Um, show recording technique. We want it to be like a community between us and you lot. We don't want it to be like operation. That's the objective, is to, um, cut, yeah, I get, as James just said it, not like create a community, but just tie things together because, y- you know, like you were saying to me, Sleep Leagues Beneath is at the front of vinyl shops now and there is a scene that's there. We, we've seen it down south and we've seen it in you know, and that can ride and you know it's exciting it is exciting so basically the point of this the point of us making this video log and guarantee you that you won't be disappointed with what you hear because i think i think it's i think it's good I've got a lot of good, good stuff recording's a lot better mm. yeah everything's a lot better yeah we we're, actually, we're way better at what we do now as well we've kicked it up yeah massively mm. especially with a lot of recordings in the split as well mm. And compared to Raz, yeah. yeah. And we know we can do better than we're doing at the moment, and we know how to, yeah. which is important as well. We know where to tell. Good things on the way. Um, sorry for rambling on all of our parts, apart from Nathan's. It's quite old boy, good old boy. Um, take care. See you next week. Hi, guys! <laughs> this is Eeyore. This is the setup. I'm Sammy, I'm on the beanbag, this is a Redinator. Have you ever heard of these chords before? <laughs> Have you ever heard this riff? Like this really good riff, we've done it as a, as a jam before. <laughs> That's by a band called Electric Wizard. Shout out Electric Wizard. <laughs> Pointed at the vinyl, James. <laughs> Pointed at the vinyl. <laughs>